Hi, I'm Chapo Omega, and I'm here I'm going to show you guys how to test a thermocouple with a meter to see if it's functional and also how to see if it's grounded or ungrounded. So to help us out today with this, we have our multimeter here. We also have our alligator clip test leads here. We have one Type-K thermocouple that's ungrounded. And we also have a grounded thermocouple, which is a Type-T. First thing that we're going to need is our multimeter. And we're going to put it on the ohm setting. First thing we're going to do is we're going to test continuity across the thermocouple. So I'm going to take my positive lead and just attach it to any wire because we're not worried about polarity when testing for resistance. And I'm going to test this lead as well and put my negative here. Now I'm looking at my multimeter, and as you can see, I'm getting a resistance value. I'm getting about 5 ohms, which is what you want because thermocouple wire has very low resistance. So that means that there is continuity and there's no break along the thermocouple. So the thermocouple is still functional. If for some reason I was reading either an OL, which is an overload, basically nothing's being connected, or when I connected it, I was reading a very high resistance like mega ohms, then you know that your thermocouple is no good and it's time to replace it. So this Type-K thermocouple is functional. Now we're gonna take this Type-T thermocouple and do the same thing. I connect my negative lead to whatever wire, and I take my other lead and I connect it to the other wire, and let's see what kind of resistance we get. And as you can see here, I'm reading about 5.4 ohms, just a little bit more than the other one. So I know that this thermocouple is functional because I'm getting a very low resistance reading, I'm not reading overload, and I'm not reading a large mega ohm with a high resistance. Now we're gonna test to see whether a thermocouple is grounded or ungrounded. I'm gonna take my negative lead here and attach it to one wire. So we're gonna start with the type T thermocouple first. Since this is a grounded thermocouple, I should get a continuity if I take my wire and attach it to anywhere along the sheath of the probe. I attach it to the sheath and I'm getting continuity. This is a grounded thermocouple. If this was an ungrounded thermocouple, I would read oh well, which basically there's no continuity. Now, if your thermocouple was originally grounded and now you're getting an oh well, that means that the junction has somewhat come apart from the sheath of the probe and is no longer a grounded thermocouple and needs to be replaced. So now we're gonna test the type K thermocouple, which is an ungrounded thermocouple, to double check on that as well. So I'm gonna take one of my leads here and I'm gonna attach it to any wire whether it's the yellow or the red wire insulation. And now I'm gonna take my other wire and I'm just gonna to touch the sheath of the probe. Now, if this was a grounded thermocouple, I would be reading a connection right now or getting some kind of ohm reading. But right now, as you can see, I'm getting an OL, so basically no connection. The only connection that you're gonna see is when you go across the two wires. So as we did before, I attach it to the negative wire, and now I have a connection. Now, just to triple check, I will take the first lead that I first attached, take it off the positive wire, and then touch that across the sheath of the probe. That's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new. If you have any more questions, we'll be happy to help.